Hello there, hi, it's Nigel from FCD. Um, morning everybody. Just a, a news update really, I'm going to try and do these on a regular basis now when I get time. Um, <clears throat> last video were a bit negative and it was all the accumulation of all the problems that the idiots keep attacking FCD. They've done it for years now and they think that it all has an impact but obviously we're still here, we're still producing ghost boxes that people love, genuine customers love. So it's just a waste of time. I don't even bother with most of them anymore. What I want to talk to you about this morning, though, is something much more positive, and that's um, as with every company, um, whether whatever field you're in, uh, a lot of small businesses have been impacted by the virus situation and the lockdowns, etc. And we were we were impacted ourselves to some degree. Uh, mainly so that um, suppliers were, were finding it difficult to find parts from um, overseas and in this country to, um, you know, use in, the, in their electronic devices such as ghost boxes, etc. So what we um, what we've had to do really, in a way, is to use most of the supplies that we've already got in stock, and we've concentrated on the uh, Mark Five model, which is we've been building them as one-offs all the time to make sure that we don't run out of parts and selling them as they're built as people have been seeing mainly on eBay okay um, I'm going to show you a demonstration of that in a moment uh, but the Mark 4 Plus which is this one that we produce in the plastic fronted case um, both models use exactly the same kind of um, setup Ghost box radio setup inside them, um, and both have Bluetooth connection on these. Um, what we've had to do with the Mark 4 Plus this model is to actually put it on hold a little bit because um, basically the cases that come from overseas have just been difficult to get hold of, um, and there are sources in this country where you can buy these cases from but they've hiked their prices up ridiculously four or five times what we were paying just before the lockdown which is a bit disgraceful really but um we've had to do a slight increase <laughs> and we did have one customer yesterday on ebay absolutely ridiculous complaining that we'd put the price for this this is what they were saying I and mean, they just have to attack in every possible way they can and they were threatening me that they're going to put it on their website and one thing and another. I really worried about that because I probably don't even have any viewers. Yet they were claiming they were the biggest, you know, ITC builder in in the states and this and the other. And they were saying, "How dare you? You've got these out of stock on your website. Yet you're selling them. You've hiked the price up and you're selling them for a lot more. Do you know how much they are on the website? A hundred and forty nine pound plus shipping." On eBay, they're £150, that's £1 more, but without shipping. So they're actually about, if you're going to buy one in America, about £20 less. These people just haven't got any brain cells. <laughs> Seriously, they can't have. Anyway, I promise you I won't get a moment about that. But this is the sort of rubbish I have to put up with on a daily basis. It's unbelievable. And they're supposed to be intelligent people that are producing. They claim that they produce a ghost box in America and... And that's the mentality. They can't, you know. Anyway, shut up, Nigel. <laughs> okay, so um, that's the situation. So at the moment, uh, but the good news is on Monday, this Monday coming, which will be the is it the thirteenth? Uh, it's Friday the tenth today. Yeah, it's thirteenth. We will be getting cases coming in, so these will be going back on sale um, at the same price as they were before. We're not going to hike it up. We never do. Uh, no matter what this stupid person has said it will be exactly the same price as it was before lockdown before the virus and it does look like the good news is it does look like supplies are now starting to come through again which is brilliant and a reasonable price that um, helps everybody to afford you know ghost boxes a good quality at the price that we think is appropriate for these devices not ripping anybody off as it has been for years and that's what's upsetting these people really in america they've had it too long where they've been charging hundreds of pounds up to thousands of pounds for things that um is disgraceful and they don't like us because we're actually doing the right thing and you know not overcharging 
so they attack you for that and try to i mean look at that trying to say that we're <laughs> well i'm not going to mention it again how stupid can you get anyway so i'm going to show you this one's currently on sale um it's got a lovely wood effect on this one that's why i like it and that's the thing that we find fcd and why our customers you know remain loyal and like our devices is that we put well i do i mean helen helps me with various things she actually stained this one for me um and we do put effort into it it's about a creative energy that we believe in that we do believe spirit help alongside um i have seen evidence for this i've heard voices while i've been making these things and it's obvious that spirit are around watching what we do and a lot of times and other itc builders will actually admit this as well that sometimes when you've finished a box and you go to test it one of the first things that come through are phrases like i like it or you know good or as if they're happy that, that this device has been built okay um this one is it's got it's got a lovely sort of clear sound to it they're still going on about the idiots out there saying that because it's clear they don't fully understand how ghost boxes work they think because it doesn't have the static there that it isn't working the same it's working exactly the same as i mentioned in the last video the static has got nothing to do it's just a carrier signal and because of the wave generator that's put into some of the earlier boxes it cannot clear that up that's all so people prefer it they like it and that's up to them if they want to carry on buying them and they they think the illusion gives them more of a contact with spirit well that's good for them that, that is that's what they like and they have no problem with that i prefer to in our bosses to hear what's coming through okay so I'll turn the volume up a bit on this one so you can hear it it's got adjustable sweep on this at the side as you can see um thank you thank you thank you spirit if you're listening it's not an easy now you can have it um, all the way down there and that's literally radio okay now you can turn it off and this is right to the other extreme of the suite it's just small snippets of sounds coming through bit of reverb on there i like to just turn it a little bit down so you can get an odd word come right through instead of a part of it's very sensitive the dial you have to be very you know, sensitive about how you turn it especially at the faster end so you know, sweep them through. have you got anything there for us about the box spirit would you like to tell the viewers anything about it buy one did you hear that now that wasn't me making that up that was crystal clear uh, buy one well thank you very much <laughs> uh, this is not a plug that were from obviously you know buy one you heard it crystal clear i did let's hear any more well thank you spirit i really appreciate that this is what happens if you were genuinely with spirit from the goodness of your heart and believe in the truth and things you get accurate information come through can you tell me the name of the spirit that said that, please? Can you give me your surname? Let's turn the reverb down a little During bit. that, Is there a name you can give us, please? War. Was that Friday? War, war I heard. <laughs> Sometimes you get premonitions. Scary, through, you know. That was war, I hope. the reverb all the way up if you want I'll turn it right up oh no that's the volume sorry I'm turning the volume down it's difficult when you're looking at the camera 
There you go, that's with the reverb all the way up. <laughs> it sounds really good, doesn't it? Make, 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 make. I usually have it just about a quarter of the way around, just to give it that little bit of echoey effect. Okay, uh, I'm turning this off now. Thank you, Spirit, for helping out there, and thank you for the plug. <laughs> really appreciate it. Amazing. I mean, that's all I was just saying before that they're aware when you first start these boxes, aren't they? Okay. Turn it off, it's one simple on off switch. It operates the Bluetooth at the top there. You've got USB as well that can go in there. You put a USB pen in there. Um, I don't know if I've got one handy at the moment. No, I haven't. But anyway, you put a USB pen in there. You can put auxiliary. Uh, oh no, not on this one, there's no auxiliary. But you can connect remotely. You get a remote with this to connect remotely to a Bluetooth device like your phone. If you've got Ghostbox apps on there, you can play it through this and use the other effects with it as well. Okay, so. You know, it's a great little box. They take a lot of work on these. That's why they're a bit, well, a bit dearer than the Mark IV. There's a, a lot of work goes into these, um, you know, both interior-wise and the look of the thing. I mean, you've got a, a handle on here, plastic handle on the side now. We've made that so you can carry it around. And it's actually Velcroed down at the side there, if you see that. Little things like that that just help people to... You know so the handle it flapping around everywhere it's just taking that care and attention runs off one nine uh volt pp3 battery at last stages but it runs everything now we don't got loads of batteries there so once you've got you know you put one in it and take a spare with you on your investigations you've got enough battery power there to take with you metal frame on there it illuminates in the speaker um auxiliary out so you can record to your computers or whatever it's got that local tuning button again on the mark 5 deluxes uh where you know when you get it you can tune it to your area so that you're picking up all the best signals in the area you're going to get more variation of um along the fm wave band of different snippets of sounds uh it's got little bum fee on the bottom there and it's got a nice quality antenna on the back now what we've found is you might have seen flapping around i always have to put this on um, i do send this extra bit of wire with the boxes now because some people depends where you live if you've got really good radio reception you won't need it and it'll pick up just like it did there on the video but if you live in an area that doesn't pick up very well if you put a length of about a meter wire onto the antenna you'll pick up everything everywhere you go um it just helps to um pick up you know if there's any obstructions or anything that are stopping the signal getting through uh it just helps to give a, a wider field for you know along the length of the thin wire to actually capture that okay so there you go there's the fcd mark five that we're currently selling as one-offs um and that you know if you buy this it goes out the next day it's ready to go. That's why I'm going to put them on one at a time and make sure the bill and then they can be posted straight off. With the Mark 4s that come on again next week, it may be because we, we can get the supplies again and they're all coming through great again. We can we can actually put them onto order um, like we were doing before. Uh, so if you want one of those, a lot of people prefer those. It's all down to preference. They sound great. I mean, these sound great as well. This one has had the batteries in ages, so I don't even know if it'll come on. We'll try it. Slightly different. Slightly different. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, the batteries have run out. Might be. Oh no, no. Oh, the batteries have run out. This has got an aerial on the side of it. Oops, knocking himself out with it. Got the reverb on it the same. If I can find everything on it. There's your reverb, there's your um, sweet rate, I try to turn it right off, a lot of gaps between everything. And there you go, that, that's how that was sound. Pretty similar, they work on the same sort of principle but obviously they've got different um electronics inside them some of the circuitry is slightly different i won't 
bore you with signs, but some of the capacitors and resistors in there are slightly different from the Mark V, but it works on the same principle more or less. Okay, so there you go, they'll be back on Monday. I'll be looking forward to relisting those again on eBay and on the FCD website. So I thought just do a quick update for you guys. Hope you're all alright. We have a lovely Sunday. Uh, it looks like I'm a little bit overcast here, but the sun's trying to break through. So let's hope it's a nice day. Wishing you all the best, love and peace out there, and um, stay safe. Okay, bye.